So BJ had a great fight with GSP the first time they fought, right? But BJ was kind of fluctuating of his weight. He wasn't taking it serious as an athlete. He wasn't getting a nutritionist and a conditioning coach and a, and a, and a, and a, and a coach that, you know, you're higher on a full-time basis to be with you. And, you know, he wasn't, he was a fighter. And, he, and I think they call him Prodigy. Was he, did he dedicate dozens, plenty of years to jujitsu and whatnot and, and, in my opinion, the UFC at that time wasn't where it's at today. By no means, it wasn't. BJ got became pop like everybody in the MMA world knew who he was, but like I didn't. When I first started was around him, people weren't saying, "Hey, there's BJ Penn. Let me take a picture." All of a sudden, he wins a world title. You know, you're defending. You have these big major fight with GSP. Okay, let me get back to the GSP thing. BJ legitimately trained himself to the weight that he belonged at, and that's 155. Mm. He dieted, he did conditioning, he ran, he got a nutritionist, he he educated his body and, 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 and trained his body to be a real 155 pounder, a guy that has to cut weight to 155 and then put the weight on properly to get back up to whatever you are, 167, whatever it is, you know? Um and, and be strong and, and, and be agile and, 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 and be, have the athleticism as a 155 pounder. All right. So he really brought himself down to a real 155 pounder. Now he's 155. He's the champion of the world. And now he's going to fight GSP, who he gave a run for his money. But BJ used to like, like it and say, hey, BJ's got to be a little fat. You know, we make jokes like that. I said, no, but you were. You were just, you were a big fighter. The, the, the sport was even a little bit different back then. And, and you gave GSP a run for your money. You know what I mean? So now in your mind, you fought somebody, gave him a run for their money. You feel like, fucking, I, I know I can beat this guy. And I'm in way better shape than I've ever been. But he legitimately saturated himself, or not saturated, but brought himself down to his real weight. You be around BJ. Yeah, BJ's yeah. not a 170 pound fighter, you know, let alone fighting Leto Machida at 185. And he's also had done that prior to that. Yeah. You know? Um, but now we're fighting GSP. And, my, and I'm like, ah, man, you know? My job isn't a manager. My job is a coach. My job is when the manager says, that's why sometimes the manager will call me up and say, hey, coach, you think we should take this fight? And I say, isn't that your fucking job? <laughs> you know what I mean? Isn't that your fucking job? My job is to fucking make them believe and make them help them try to beat any man on this fucking planet, whoever you put in front of him. You know, do I think it makes sense for the coach and the manager to collaborate? Sure. But... You know, that's making a manager's job very fucking easy now, isn't it? You know, I'll ask coach. Coach said yes. You know what I mean? And then and then and then you go from there. Then they get their fucking eight, ten percent, whatever the fuck they get for, you know, making a you know decision amongst everybody else. You know, that man back in the day in boxing, a manager makes a decision, doesn't and and, and and it makes a decision. Now it's really on him and he's actually earning his money, but whatever. So he saturated himself down to 155 pounds or a real saturated strengthen himself to a real 155 pounder not saturated i should yeah strengthen more, yeah, yeah strengthen himself to that so now to be realistically 170 pounds gsp was 192 pounds when he went in there they they weigh in before you go you know the people in the ufc you said what was his fight weight he was 192 going into the fucking fight he weighed at 170 you know bj's probably going in the ring at 167 because now he's the day of the fight you're not eating normal you know and in it and damn you know, so I, I, matter of fact, on the scales, I think he was 167 and we put some shit in his, I want to say we put something on him, put shorts on him, put pocket, he was eating in the back to go to the weigh-ins because he didn't want to show up on the scale at 167. He wanted to be, I think he might've came in 168, 169. I don't remember. It's That's a long crazy. time ago, but he wasn't a real 170 pounder. Yeah. And now we got one of the biggest, strongest, baddest, more confident, different he was a kid back when they fought to begin with GSP, and now he's coming into his manhood. He's the champion of the world. He's a fucking bulldog, man. He's a he's the best in the fucking world. And we're coming up from 155 to fight him at 170. They're both two champions fighting each other. I don't know if that's the only time they've ever done that, but I th I feel like it might have. We did a three. Yeah, it was a big deal. And um, I think you know it, 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 we had great grapplers. We had all we had great training partners. We really had a great crew of people around us. It just it was a it was a bigger dog against a little dog, a smaller dog, you know. Yeah. And, and that's just what it was. And and uh, yeah, 
But that's why, but I, but coming from boxing, we're fluctuating. Boxing, you're like, should you fight out 126 or 130? You know what I mean? Because you got, you got featherweight, you got junior featherweight, yeah. you got lightweight, you got super lightweight. You know, there's, the, you're talking three to four pound differences, some maybe seven pounds, you know, but it's just, and they're still really hypersensitive on whether they want to give up one or two pounds. This is giving up 15, you know, of, of, of real weight. Jesus. Which in and, and you're not in you're going against the best the two best in their division are going against each other. So, you know, that's my excuse. We all have excuses like an asshole. Yeah. We all got one. You know what I mean? And and, and this some of us has assholes for friends. Yeah. <laughs> that is your yeah. Well, some of us. Who? <laughs> who who me. 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 No, me. 